From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Los Angeles Rams. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the second-year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Now he'll look to throw it. is going to be incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Fielded just inside the 30. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. On first down at Stafford. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and 10. Stafford now to throw. Pass complete there to Nakua. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Stafford on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And a good run here as he'll run all the way down to the 40-yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target, and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Stafford. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Throwing on third down, Stafford. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. 
So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They start on the ground with Robinson here. They had a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now they go play action with Howe. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. And down to the 44, five yards that time. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Howell from the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. No score after one on EA Sports. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. As they've got it as we resume action. Pal to the air on first and ten. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Back to throw, Howell. That one complete out to Dotson. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 14-yard line. Here's Hal. Buying time to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aaron Donald with a sack. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. 
That's out wide here for Robinson. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So eight yards on the completion there. And it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. At first glance, I wasn't sure he got it. Then I saw that spot. Definitely a first down. It was, but boy, on the other side, you disputed a little bit, wouldn't you? Okay, if you're playing defense, are you sure he got there? But that's why they tell you all the time, don't just get what you need. Get a little bit more and take the decision out of the hands of the officials. Well, there he needed a yard. He got a yard and maybe an inch. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Powell. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Flushed out right. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Sam Howell, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They begin the drive with Williams. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and three. Stafford. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. You can do this, Keep up the right, From the gun, here's Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pickup. First down. 
That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first down, Stafford here. Throw left side, complete to count. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Stafford on first down. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. First and 10, Stafford. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Stafford looks to throw again. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw, Stafford. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with ten seconds left. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Maher able to put this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. One last shot before the break. Howell. And he'll have it past midfield, almost 
close to the 40 before being taken down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now a first down throw, Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Stafford. And got his man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That goes for a gain of 31. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. Play action, Stafford. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. Trying to lay one up deep. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 two -two Atwell. 37 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead here in this third quarter. They went empty backfield. All their weapons out wide. So there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it. And they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball. Because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Here's Antonio Gibson taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Does a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 
Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And Howell will throw it. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Robinson gets the toss on the right side. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works very well there. Big people out in front being physical, and they pick up a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. On second down, a run with Gibson. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 41. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. On third down, Robinson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Back to Robinson now on first down. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Now trying to pick it up on third. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This time they'll throw it with Howell. And Thomas has it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson taking it in from two yards out. And the Commanders answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown on the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Shifts by him. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 
This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Now Stafford. And that's caught by Williams. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Stafford now to throw. His throw incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now it's Stafford. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They snap it to Stafford. And a find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Back to throw. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And remember, field goal does him no good in this situation. You gotta think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. They come up now on second and two. He'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side, Williams. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. A big play looming on third down. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So this defense, they looked a little shaky to start the drive. The bottom line, they're a play away from finishing it off. They rocked them a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. This for all the marbles. Oh, and that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Powell going to go down to a knee, and that should just about wrap this up. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, 
neither side made that mistake. But we got a very entertaining game throughout. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Southern California, so long, everybody.